Hey everyone, welcome back to another Go High Level Training. Today, we'll be diving into how to integrate Calumny with GHL using Zapier, making your selling process more streamlined for you and your team. We'll be also making sure every book call lands in the right pipeline. First, we jump into a Calumny account. I'm sure you have a unique event name for easy identification that Zapier. Today, we're setting up an event called Website Training Call. Set up duration, location, description, and all the other fun details for a call. Then we can choose either single host or the round robin as for multiple host. We will talk about how to differentiate them later to make sure your team knows it too. After that, we will customize your booking call. These are really important as it qualifies your leads. These can be ages, jobs detail, monthly income, and etc. Once you have done those, you have just successfully create a new event as a new booking link will appear. Next, moving on to Zapier. Creating a new trigger for calendar events, selecting your account and set up the trigger to activate when the new events is scheduled. Testing this trigger by booking a test call in Calendly. I'm sure you're filling the necessary detail. Then what is the most important part? If you have multiple calendar or booking links under the same account, we need to use event name as a criteria as a condition to filter out for that particular event. Additionally, adding a condition like schedule event host email to differentiate the host for each event if you have multiple hosts like using Robin. What does this do is to make sure Zapier only move on to the next step or action if both of these events and host name or email is matched correctly, which is crucial later on. Once you have done those, Last step is to integrate with GHL. Using GHL lead connector in Zapier, choosing action for pipeline, input contact details like name, email, we are, and for phone number, we are using the answer for our question number one. Since sometimes Zapier doesn't give you that option. Next, you could add tags for better organization. Then we need to select the right pipeline, stages, and assign leads to a particular team member based on the host email using the filter system we had early on. Lastly, in order to make your team life a lot easier, we can also include booking questions and answers in notes so they don't have to bounce around between two softwares. Adding the letter B for bolding the questions for better organization and selecting the right field from your calendar. Finally, testing the setup by checking if the lead appears in your GHL pipeline with the correct details. I'm sure all stages of pipeline are correctly set up, including notes with bolded questions for clarity. That's it. You have successfully integrated Calendly with your GHL to Zapier. The setup assures your team has all the information needed right in the sales pipeline. Before we end this video, I want to address a minor limitation. Zapier doesn't update lead value directly, but you can create a workflow in GHL to update these value based on the pipeline stages changes. And if you have any other question, drop them in the comment. Thanks for watching and do not forget to like and subscribe for more tips like this.